welcome again to the program Power to Unite with Elvira. Andito po ulit tayo sa Hong Kong kung saan po makakasama natin ulit ngayon ang dalawang lay leader kung sino sila at anong pag-usapan sila po ay walang iba kundi si Dr. Anthony Eskelam, siya pong Executive Secretary ng Holy Spirit Study Center at together po na isang lay na walang iba kundi si Miss Sally Chan Sikung kung saan po pag-uusapan namin ay napaka-interesti siya pong subaybayan ninyo sa pagbabalik ng Power Tonight with Elvira. May biyayang darating sa atin. Hinirang ang ating bayan. Pinili ang bansang Pilipinas upang dito idaos ang 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Dadayuhin ng mga Katoliko sa buong mundo. Saksihan natin ang real presence ni Jesus. Pinakamalaking pagsasama ng mga mananampalatay. May handog natin ang pinakamalaking selebrasyon ng banal na Eucharistia. Ipakita po natin sa buong mundo ang lubos na pananampalataya ng mga Pilipino. Magkita-kita po tayo ha, sa Cebu. Christ in you, our hope of glory. Welcome to the program, Power Tonight with Elvira yes, in the no, Philippines, no, 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 no. Do yeah. Dr. Anthony and Miss Sally. So I hope you don't mind calling you that. It's a lot easier. You know, uh, Dr. Anthony, you Hi. were chosen you know, by the Diocese of Hong Kong to give us about life story of your, you know, how the Eucharist influenced your life. But before we go into that, because I heard that you are both very active, you know, as lay leader here in the Diocese of Hong Kong, whatever we are going to talk about your experience, your encounter, I think the Filipino, you know, tell the viewers will learn a lot, you know, because in spite of differences in culture and tradition, we are always one when it comes, when it focuses on God, right? So before we talk about what you have been doing here as a lay leader, Dr. Anthony, you know, what influenced you, you know, to be involved in these church activities? Uh, maybe it, because of my education, uh, I was born in a very uh, uh, traditional Chinese family okay. yeah, without a very concrete yeah, uh, religious belief, yeah, but they follow the traditional worships to the ancestors. I, from my father's side, uh, we are all together, the three generations together, we have 20 people. Yeah, I was the first one yeah, uh, to be baptized at, when I was at the secondary school. Yeah, it, that's what, that was a very good uh, Catholic school. Yeah. Okay. Then, uh, after so many years, 14 of our family get baptized. I owe very much to, to my uh, teacher, uh, Father Gilosa, a, a Salesian priest. Yeah. Okay. He uh, teach me catechism, and then he baptized me. Then after a few months, he asked me to teach catechism. That's yeah. how, how yeah, very, it was. <laughs> very typical uh, Salesian style. Yeah. Okay. Everybody has to start work before learning. Yeah. On, on the side, you, you are working, you learn uh, a lot uh, to improve your, your your technique, your, your approach. Yeah. So, uh, since then, uh, I, I involved in all kinds of uh, 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 catechetical uh, uh, service and also uh, church uh, service, including uh, liturgical uh, uh, activities. And especially, more important is the youth development. Yeah. So now, uh, they, after about uh, now, we are talking about forty years afterward. Yeah. So maybe I am not so young. Yeah, enough to uh, suitable for youth uh, development. But uh, in general, I I'm quite I enjoy very much uh, the uh, church activities, and and I work well with uh, all different uh, age level uh, uh, church goers. Yeah, and we very happy that yeah uh, we have a very good uh, church community in Hong Kong. Yeah, uh, uh, both the uh, diocesan level and uh, the local level. So we feel uh, very supportive to one another. Yeah. So uh, maybe it's the main reason why we can work so long in the church and still find it very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you mean to say from what I listened to you, Dr. Anthony, it's very clear that you were baptized later, right? Yeah. So your family belongs to a very traditional Chinese, yes, you know, exactly, where I'm yeah. sure your parents come from a very strong Buddhist 
practices, right? Uh, the majority of people in Hong Kong are from the traditional family. They mix everything together, the uh, Buddhist uh, worship, the Taoist worship, the uh, traditional Chinese ancestor worship. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, for them, it makes no difference. And mm -hmm. for them, it's not a problem yeah, 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 to, to do everything together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't you think you feel at that time your knowledge about your faith is still not strong enough for you to be able to teach and then yet you accepted it? Uh, it's no need to wait for somebody who are really mature. Okay. Then you give him a, a, a mission. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, uh, it is also almost impossible to to make one perfect people really uh, perfect. Ma perfect, really yes. mature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, along the side, we are guided by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes. And then we work uh, uh, whole heart. Yeah. Uh, may not be. Uh, uh, perfect may not be uh, very really, uh, 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 successful or, 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 or mature yeah, yeah, in handling the, the, all these different cases. Yeah. But yeah, at least we are wholehearted. Yeah. We, with so our true heart. When you accepted to be a catechist, what age are you at that time? At that time, I was, at, uh, I was 16 years old. Yeah. Yeah. For your young age at that time, it yeah. was something like a new challenge for you that can I do it? Should I not do it? Yeah. You know, but you accepted it quite, you know, very well. And for you, that's how you started to get in love with your journey with your faith, right? Uh, because it's a very uh, solution style. We are quite brave, yeah, to some extent. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can accept any kind of challenge. Yeah. Anyway, even today, I think, yeah, uh, fair to say, yeah, even we are teaching a, a catechumen class at our parish, yeah, the Holy Cross parish, yeah. We still find a great challenge, yeah, because the, the, the subject may be the same, yes. the, the content the same, but the audience are different. Yes, uh, uh, we never know who is coming to uh, listen, to attend, yes. and uh, who, we never know what response they get, yes. yeah, and then w what will they feel, and then what kind of feedback they would like to give us. Yeah, so always it is a challenge. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, for so many years, after about forty years. Uh, we still uh, doing the same thing as uh, we did uh, 40 years ago. Yeah, uh, we try our best. Yeah, honestly, we we, we 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 did all our best, but yeah, we leave it in the hand of our law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. we will continue your story later. Now with Miss Sally, I heard yeah. you're a retired teacher, right? Early retired. Yeah, early. Yeah, <laughs> because I said this looks very young, you know, to be retired. But I'm sure it's the gain of the church because you are becoming very active in your in advocacy, right? Yeah. Because are you really um, comes from a family of uh, Catholic or just like Dr. Anthony, you know, with this family from a very traditional? Then you were converted just because you were uh, attending Catholic school. How how this you know faith comes into your life? Actually, it's more or less the same story because okay. most of the Hong Kong people do not have Catholic faith okay. as a Chinese, Hong Kong Chinese. Mm -hmm. So my family also is just not a, a Catholic family at all. Okay. And, and I'm the second one to be baptized in my family. I got um, eight siblings. I'm the fourth one. Okay. Um, because we studied in the Catholic, Catholic school, school ever since in the primary, secondary. So we received Catholic education mm -hmm. uh, in our childhood. Yes. So we came, came to know God through the Catholic education. Mm -hmm. um, before I left my secondary school uh, in Form 7, I mm -hmm. was baptized yes. in front of the whole school in the okay. Christmas Mass. Oh, okay. So, uh, and I remember the priest who baptized me is from, from a boys' college that is opposite side of our my school's road. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are the girls' college, and the opposite opposite the side of the road is the uh, boys' college, and that is from uh, a SVD father. Oh, okay. He came to our school every morning to celebrate mass for the religious sisters yes. and also some of the parishioners yes. for the daily mass. Uh, although it is an English mass, but still uh, some of the parishioners, old ladies, will join. Mm -hmm. And I also joined for many years. Okay. And before I uh, left my secondary school, uh, I have some time of uh, some, some instruction from the religious sisters. 
and I was baptized, and that is the so faith. So the, these religious is are they simple or what mm -hmm. kind of religious congregation is it? Uh, my, my my secondary school is a simple school ah, uh, from okay. uh, simple sister of Chateau's. Yes, uh, and you never regretted. I until never regret. Now. Actually, actually, my mother because at that time I I, I was still young. Uh, the principal asked me to you better ask your your mother because your family is not a Catholic family. Ah, so okay. I. I was a good schoolgirl, so I, <laughs> I, I did what my principal asked me. Yes. So I asked the permission from my mother. But she, although I'm not the first one to be baptized, but she said that, hmm, you better think of it because uh, Hong Kong, most of the families are not Catholic family. Yes. Maybe there is some obstacles when you get married. Maybe ah. your future mother-in-law will not be happy with that. Okay. And then I say, I, re I still remember at that time I say, then I got a Catholic husband then. <laughs> and, and, and really, yeah. many, many years like, later, I have a, a Catholic husband. Yeah, so it's yeah. not a hindrance at yeah. all. Yeah. yeah.